Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we're going to be doing three different IKEA hacks that were all inspired by Urban Outfitters home decor pieces. If you guys know Urban Outfitters, you know how cute their home decor is. Very boho, very unique, but very pricey at the same time. And I found quite a few pieces that I knew we could just make ourselves and kind of do IKEA dupes of them. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make three of these home decor pieces out of things that you can find at IKEA at a very affordable price. So. We're saving money, we're doing crafts, and we're having fun. So I hope you guys enjoy watching today's video. If you do enjoy watching, definitely make sure you hit that thumbs up button and let's go ahead and get started. So for the first IKEA hack, we're gonna be making the Faye braided pillow from Urban Outfitters. I love this pillow. It's very trendy, very boho, very neutral, all the things I like, but it's actually on sale right now on the website for $49. And I still think that's pretty pricey. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make this for so much less. The first thing you're gonna need from Ikea is the Vigdis pillowcase and this actually costs $9.99 so we're already saving money on our base pillowcase. This is a really pretty linen neutral pillowcase that's part of the 2020 collection and it's actually the exact same size as the Urban Outfitters pillow. We're also going to be using a pillow insert from Ikea but if you have your own that works great as well. The insert costs $8 so we're still below budget and we're going to be using macrame cords to create our braided look. If you have any other string you can use that as well. As well as E6000 to glue our braids onto the pillowcase. Scissors of course to cut all of our braids. We're going to be using some scotch painters tape just to make the process go a little easier and a fine tooth comb. Alright so to get started I'm just unfolding my brand new pillowcase and inserting the pillow insert. I do recommend maybe ironing the pillowcase before you get started because I kind of ended up with a wrinkly looking one. So if you want it to look crisp and new maybe give it a little bit of an iron. Now moving on to creating the braids. Again I'm going to be using macrame cord to get this look but you can use whatever kind of yarn or string, thicker string that you have. I'm cutting three pieces of macrame about this length. I didn't really measure I just kind of eyeballed it and this is going to be our first set of braids so we're going to repeat the same process and do four sets of three small strings and then four sets of three long strings I didn't really measure the long strings either, I just made sure that they were at least double the length of the small ones. The small ones should create a shape that's kind of like a rainbow and then the long ones should create kind of this snaked look. So measure it over top of your pillow and see if the string goes all the way across from end to end. To start the braids, I'm just going to be creating a knot and then taping it down to the table because sometimes it's easier to braid like that and then just braiding the entire thing all the way down and then leaving about this much length at the end to tie into a knot and then fray the edges. So you can just get this look by combing out the ends of the string with a fine tooth comb. This will allow the pieces of string to start to fray. Macrame is definitely very hard to fray. It took a while to get this look. So if you wanna use a softer string, it'll probably work a lot faster and easier. But once you have them all frayed out and all braided, you'll have four sets of braids here. You'll have two sets of long ones and two sets of short ones. They don't have to be the exact length. You can kind of just eyeball it either way you're gonna create your own look. So grab your E6000 and start mapping out your design based off of the Urban Outfitters pillow. So the short ones are gonna be glued onto the pillow in kind of a rainbow shape. And I'm just kind of placing this one along the top of the pillow. I put my E6000 first and then glue the braid on. Make sure that your braids lay flat as well so they're not getting all twisted up. The long ones are gonna be used all the way across the pillow in kind of a snake pattern and that's why you have to make sure that your string is long enough to go all the way across the pillow so that your frays and your edges are right at the end of the pillowcase. So I just map out my design and start laying out the E6000 glue so that I have it exactly where I want it to go. Working in small chunks is a lot easier and you can make sure that you get the look that you want. So you first map out your first one and then attach your second braid so that all of your designs are in sets of two. So I'm trying to make this pillow look a lot like the Urban Outfitters one, but if you want to take the same concept and create your own designs out of your braids, that would be a great idea as well. But anyways, place them where you think they should be based off of your photo reference and glue all your braids down. So 
So that's pretty much it. You just keep repeating this process until you have all your braids on. I love the way this pillow looks. It looks just like the Urban Outfitters one, but for so much less. I spent $18 on this Ikea hack when originally this pillow was $59 on sale for $49. You can create this in so many different colors and unique shapes and sizes, so definitely go ahead and try it out yourself. The next Ikea hack is one of my favorites because it's so simple to make. This is the Honeymoon Hotel Dream Team art print from Urban Outfitters, originally priced for $49 again for a 5x10 print. So if you go up in size, it actually ends up costing so much more if you want a larger size. The next size up is $72 and it goes all the way up to $239. So I'm going to show you guys how to create this for so much less. So the first thing you're gonna need from Ikea is the Hovsta frame and I got this for $14.99. I got the 12 by 16 size that also has a mat included. I picked this one because of the raw wood frame that matches the Urban Outfitters one. You're also gonna need an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I'm just using printer paper, but you can use cardstock or anything you like. This just fits perfectly inside of the mat. And I'm also gonna be using some acrylic paints. I'm using a terracotta color, powder paint, pink, coral pink, and a black and a white, and that's going to create all the colors we need for this art print. I'm also going to be using three sizes of brushes. These are just synthetic brushes from Michaels, a thick one, a thinner one, and an even thinner one. So I'm just laying out all the paint that I'm going to be needing and starting to mix in colors to make the exact color that kind of replicates the one from Urban Outfitters. So I'm just lightening up my coral, lightening up my powder pink, and creating a gray tone. And then first thing we're going to do to get started is use our thick size brush and dip it into the powder pink color. This is going to be the center of the photo and you're just going to try and do one solid stripe down the middle. I just did a few to try and get the paint spreading all the way down, but really make it messy and loose. And I'm just going to repeat this same process using the different size brushes and different paint colors and going all the way across my piece of papers till I have all of my colors laid out. Again, I'm going off of the Urban Outfitters reference photo. So that's where I'm picking the colors and the size brushes that I need. I'm then going in with a thinner brush to create the little details that I see in the piece of artwork and striping in my grays and my blacks till I get the finished look. So you can definitely see how easy it is to replicate art that you find online and paint your own pictures and just put it inside of Ikea frames. You save so much money, wall art can be very expensive and we just created this whole thing for so much less. The Urban Outfitters one was $49 and we spent $15 on this whole look and I think it looks incredible. I love that we created it ourselves and it just looks so nice hung up on a wall. All the little details of the paint strokes, it's just stunning. So definitely try it out with an art piece of your own. For the last Ikea hack, we're gonna be making this hammered metal moon cycle banner. And I think this is so pretty, so whimsical and boho. They look so nice hung up on a wall, over top of bed or a mantle. And they actually retail on Urban Outfitters for $42. And I'm gonna show you how to kind of create the same look for less. So I'm gonna be using the Borstad wooden tags from Ikea. I'm not really sure what these are normally used for, but it's showing them over top of a clothes hanger like this. And they retail for $4.99. So this is is super affordable. I'm also going to be using macrame cord. So this isn't going to be a metal banner. It's going to be more of a softer look. And I'm also going to create that kind of metal effect by using some gold metallic paint as well as using a paintbrush and some scissors. So to start, you just lay out all of the wooden tags on a piece of paper so that you don't mess up your surface that you're going to be working on. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start painting one side of the tags gold as well as all of the edges. And you'll notice that these aren't going to be moon shape. They're going to be more diamond, but I think you get the same kind of effect in the end and you get a really pretty hanging banner. So I'm painting one side gold. I'm doing two layers just to cover them completely. As your painted tags are drying, put them aside and 
cut a long piece of macrame cord and tie each end into a knot to finish it off while also leaving a little bit of a loop at the end. That's gonna create a really easy way to hang this banner up. Now going back to the tags, I'm untying all the knots that these came with. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm not sure why I did this because I'm just gonna end up tying them back onto this cord anyways and I could have just strung them all along. So maybe you could skip this step. It was kind of a waste of time now that I'm looking at this. But anyways, if you do this, you can cut off all of the messy pieces of string that are left behind after you tie the knots and you can go ahead and hang it all up. And that is pretty much it. Another Ikea hack that's inspired by this beautiful Urban Outfitters piece for so much less. I did this whole thing for $18 and the Urban Outfitters one is sold for $42. Of course, it is a little bit different, but you still get the exact same kind of design and look and I really, really love it. It looks so whimsical hung up onto a fireplace. It would look really cute above your bed frame. And I just think it's such a pretty piece of decoration. Okay, how good are those IKEA hacks? We used IKEA pieces, which I love, turning them into Urban Outfitters pieces that I love, and we just saved so much money and got the exact same look, so this is amazing. Let me know down below which one was your favorite and if you guys wanna see more of these. If you enjoyed watching today's video, definitely give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Click the red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned on so you never miss an upcoming video. I make room makeover, home decor, DIY, and organizational videos. So if you're into that, make sure you're subscribed. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.